What up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you the intro for the 7th annual 31 Days of Horror. This is the 7th annual guys, every year I say a new number and it just seems even more crazy. 7th annual, been doing this 7 years, crazy. So originally I was going to do something super cool for this year, unfortunately you're not going to get that, you're going to get the same lame reviews that you always get. Uh, I started doing something different in late August, tried doing something completely different, but I realized how time consuming it would be and how I would have actually needed to start in like June or July to get it all done in time for October. Decided to scrap that. Maybe we'll do it for year eight. Who knows? Maybe we'll just keep doing it this way. I have no idea. But that original project will see the light of day at some point. It's just going to take some time. And uh, decided to do it more traditional style reviews that I always do. Um, you know, 31 videos, 31 reviews in 31 days. Um, but normally I have a lot pre-recorded. This year, I don't have any pre-recorded as of now. So uh, we're going to be shooting from the hip once again. Um, I'm always so lazy and, and geez, man, I, I wish I would just like prepare for once. But half of the fun is, you know, the 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 sporadic nature of this video series and challenge. Yeah, that's right. I said challenge because this year we're doing something different even though we're not doing the one thing I was talking about. We're doing something cool here too. So me, Moods, and Jeremy sat down and created a challenge for this year's 31 Days of Horror. Now I will be participating in video form. Jeremy is a little busy so I'm not sure if he's going to do anything at all. And Moods is doing a 31 Days of Horror, I think. But I'm not sure if he's doing the actual challenge. But this challenge was for the group page. The 22 Shots of Moods and Horror group page. Similar to what is done on Letterboxd with the Hooptober thing. Except for ours is a little bit more challenging. Uh, and a little bit more specific. But not too challenging to where it would scare people off. I think it's like the perfect level of challenge. The Hooptober is a little easy. Um, but those are cool. I like reading them. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, trust me, I'll get to it in a second. But first of all, I do want to say if you're not part of the group page, hit up 22 Shots of Moods and Horror um, on Facebook. Uh, I think it's Facebook slash group slash 22 Shots Podcast. But if you just type in 22 Shots of Moods and Horror in the search bar, you could join our group. And uh, that's where we're going to be posting reviews. So. Uh, basically 31 uh, films in 31 days minimum and uh, you need to post what you're watching you know either the poster or the DVD or something and give a brief little review um, it could be a couple sentences or a full length review or how you could even do a YouTube video which I encourage uh, and if everybody does that and then also you know includes the criteria which I'm going to reveal in a couple minutes and the bonuses which I'll reveal even later uh, you'll be entered in a contest uh, for a blu-ray you know like twenty dollars or something whatever uh, you know give or take new Scream Factory release or something like that uh, entered in a contest winner will get that I mean it's not, nothing crazy but you know it's free so whatever uh, the, the the fun of it is to actually do the challenge um, the the prize is just a bonus um, so the challenge itself is pretty cool I'm gonna be participating this year and uh, a lot of people on the 22 shots page are gonna be participating as well uh, so what you need to do is watch 31 horror films in 31 days post what you're watching give a brief little opinion on it or a long opinion on it and cover the criteria so with that said let's get into the criteria uh, and I'm doing this video to kind of encourage other people to follow along so the criteria will be listed in the description down below but I'm just gonna explain it all too uh, just so you guys aren't confused because it seemed like a few people were confused on the Facebook page uh, the criteria will be in the description down below and probably on the thumbnail of this video but basically it is a list of challenging type of criteria that you must complete while watching and reviewing these films. So, uh, to start off basic, just some subgenres. We have vampire films. You got to watch one vampire film. Vampire films are a classic in the subgenre. I mean, they've been around since the birth of horror, and you know, it's just 
it's just fitting to at least watch one vampire film during the 31 days of horror. Uh, one werewolf film, also a subgenre that's been around forever. Tackling the main subgenres here, one werewolf film. Uh, werewolf films are always surprising to me because I'll watch one that's really good and then I'll be like, I forgot how enjoyable a good werewolf film can be. So, werewolf films, uh, slasher films, you need one slasher film. Now, slashers are super easy. I mean, most pe I can't imagine somebody does a 31 Days of Horror Challenge and doesn't view one slasher film. So, that's going to be an easy one. Uh, one zombie film, a little bit tired subgenre, but it is a classic subgenre in horror. So, you got to watch one zombie film. Uh, one ghost film, also huge spectrum of ghost films so that one should be easy uh, but yeah ghost films it's it's kind of a staple in the horror genre now we get into a little bit more challenging one uh, a little bit outside the comfort zone here which is purposely why I picked it and that is one silent film uh, a lot of people in my generation don't really care about silent films a lot of people in in the generation younger than me sure in hell don't care about silent films but I think you must go back every once in a while and just check out something that's a little outside your comfort zone so that's why I threw a silent film on there uh, so check out one silent film I recommend The Phantom's Carriage if you've never seen it uh, after that we have one cannibal film cannibal films are pretty cool they're gross and uh, this was a moods pick of course because you know cannibals that's kind of he likes cannibals, he likes Italian films and stuff like that. So uh, After that we have one found footage film. You must watch one found footage film. Love this genre and this was a personal choice because I, I, just, I just like to watch found footage. So uh, I definitely want to watch one during the uh, 31 Days of Horror this year. Uh, one Halloween themed film non-franchise. So nothing that is in a franchise can you pick for this. But it must take place or at least have... Uh, a setting of Halloween for it to count but it cannot be a franchise so no Halloween films you know Michael Myers uh, or even Halloween 3 and no Night of the Demons because those take place on Halloween as well so you gotta pick something else uh, something you know that has the theme of Halloween but isn't part of a franchise uh, one giallo film so this is this is moods is pick right here uh, if I was going to recommend one, I'd say maybe like The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. If you're not familiar with Giallo films, it's a nice, um, you know, uh, gateway film to the Giallo genre. So check out that one uh, if you if you don't know what Giallo to pick. And Giallos are basically um, detective narrative with slasher elements, typically Italian. Uh, then we have one demon film, so one film that has some sort of demon in it. Uh, which can cross over with the ghost films a little bit, so there is that. Uh, and then you have one creature feature. Uh, that's kind of a, you know, big spectrum of films again. Uh, creature features could technically be stuff like Jaws, but I would more liken it to stuff like Tremors. So I would lean more towards that way, but if you do a killer animal film too, that's that's fine. Uh, then we have one Universal or Hammer film, so if you're not big into Universal, maybe try Hammer. If you are big into Universal, maybe try Hammer. If you're into Hammer, maybe try Universal. You know, just, just kind of play it by ear. Um, maybe go outside of your comfort zone, or maybe just watch something that you're comfortable with. Uh, and then we have one film from Umberto Lenzi, rest in peace. Uh, Umberto Lenzi passed away, I believe, last October. So I actually thought it would be cool to sort of pay tribute and, and watch at least one Umberto Lindsay film this year for October. Uh, after that, we have three, this is the first multi uh, films in a category, three 2018 films. So everybody who's stuck in the 80s or the 70s or the 90s or retro horror, you got to get out and check out some new stuff too. So, so definitely see three 2018 films as well. Then, because 22 Shots is doing 1982 for our next top 10, you gotta watch two 1982 films. Should be easy. Tons of great films that came out in 1982. Uh, then, you know, to show the, some love to the, the, the decade that doesn't get any love at all, you gotta watch two 1990s films. Uh, I recommend not watching much from 91. It's not a good year. Or 97. But there's some, there's some good stuff in every year. So, so check out two 90s films. Uh, this one's kind of fun. Uh, two films that are in the 22 Shots 
Hall of Fame, or if you want to go the other way, Hall of Pain. And you can find that on the 22 shots of moods and horror.com. Uh, we have a section of films that scored 28 points out of 30 or higher, meaning ten, uh, ratings out of 10 between three hosts, um, 28 or higher, and then the Hall of Pain is like 9.5 or lower. So uh, there's tons of films to choose from in there, uh, but yeah, you got to watch two, either two from both, one from each, or one from, uh, you know, the pain, whatever. Uh, one film from the year you were born, which 1991 for me, so that's why I know that there's not tons of good stuff from 91. Uh, one film starring either Vincent Price, Peter Cushing, Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr., or Bela Lugosi. So that, again, is trying to get you to watch some older stuff. Uh, then one film directed by David Cronenberg, Toby Hooper, Stuart Gordon, Joe Dante, or Mario Bava. So just, just a couple of directors we threw out. you got to watch one film from one of their catalogs. Uh, that's not one each, that's just one film that was directed by one of those people. Uh, here's an interesting one, one female directed horror film. Uh, there are some out there, there's there's quite a few, so check out some female directed horror. Uh, five first time watches, so during all this you need to have five first time watches. Uh, you also need to visit five different countries, so five films from different countries. U.S. can count, so U.S., Canada, you know, French, Italian, uh, you're probably going to hit one of those, you know what I mean? Um, so Australia is a good one, so, you know, South Korea, any country, you know, five different countries. Uh, then one film, I just threw this in there to be funny, one film where the f cell phone doesn't work. So some, a character needs to say the cell phone is out of service, it doesn't work, it's been, you know, what, one film where it, it shows the cell phone taking out of the equation. It could break, whatever, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just thought that was funny and make you use your head. Uh, one film based on true events. Now, it doesn't actually have to be based on true events. It just needs to state that it was based on true events. Or it could actually be based on true events and not stated. You know, any any variation of that. Uh, one film with a two hour plus runtime. Just threw that in there for fun. Uh, and then here's the bonuses. That's all the regular criteria. You have to hit all those. And here's the bonuses for you really diehard fans. See Halloween 2018, the new film. See Tales from the Hood uh, 2. See Witch in the Window, Summer of 84, and Terrified. These are all 2018 films. Uh, go out and see those films just because they're all, I believe, being released in October. So that's why I picked those. Uh, and then you might be counting on your hand and be like, wait a minute, this is like well over 31 uh, days here in terms of criteria. That's okay. All you need to do is make sure that you watch a film uh, every day and then they can cover multiple criteria. You want to knock out a slasher, directed female, uh, you know, zombie film all at once, go ahead. You want to knock out as many criteria as you can, uh, which is my strategy. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please uh, check the link in the description down below. Hope you guys participate. This should be fun. See you guys later. Peace.